Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Aish Banaish and in this video I'm just going to be talking to you about anodizing. So if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen recently that I got an anodizer and I've been playing around with it, having loads of fun and I posted some videos on my story and on my feed and from those videos I did get a couple of questions about like what exactly is happening. So I thought I'd make a video on anodizing and kind of explain the process on a basic level and you know just answer some of the questions people ask me. So on a basic level anodization is basically passing an electrical current through a piece of metal and then the metal then appears to change colour. However on a slightly deeper level it's not so much that the metal is changing colour but rather that passing an electrical current through the piece of metal creates an oxide layer on the outside and that can change the appearance of the colour of the metal. So without going too deep into it, basically what happens for the metal to appear a different colour is that some light reflects off the oxide layer and some goes through to the metal and reflects off the metal and that's how you see like whatever colour it is. Whatever colour you see depends on the thickness of the oxide layer and that in turn depends on the voltage that the piece of metal has been anodised at. Anodizing also makes the surface of jewellery more biocompatible so what I've seen a lot of pieces do is anodize all of their plain polished stuff so that it's a little bit shinier and also it's anodized so it's a bit more biocompatible because you can anodize plain polished stuff to just like a bit of a shinier finish it's around like 53 volts or something like that and it just looks a bit like more silvery so that's something i also want to start doing as well because i found that sometimes people are a little bit put off by the way that titanium is slightly darker than you know like the shiny stainless steel bullshit that you get on ebay and therefore they like that more and what i want to do is kind of drive people away from that so if i can give them that look without the negatives and actually with more benefits then i would like to be able to do that but yeah that's just like a basic overview of anodizing i have anodized a few pieces and i'll put some videos probably on screen or something while I'm talking about this. It is like a lot easier than I thought it would be. I was very scared the first time I did it that I was gonna die because you know, it's like working with, you know, high voltage electricity. And I was just a little bit worried. So, you know, I was waiting for my like thick rubber gloves to come and you know, everything I needed to anodize safely. And then I'd read tips like, you know, only use one hand so that you're never holding like the anode and cathode at the same time. So the current's never running through you. So yeah, I didn't die. And I also got some results I was really happy with. And yeah, I'm now offering anodization in the studio and for the stock in my online store. But yeah, I'll leave you to enjoy those anodization videos. And remember, if you do have any questions about this video or anything else piercing related, then drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But that's all from me in this video. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Just so you know, I've got loads of new stock over on wholeheartedlondon.com. This new high quality range not only looks stunning, but it's highly polished, internally threaded, implant grade titanium. So it's great for your piercings too.